1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm going to start a little bit later from now on, around 1.30-ish Eastern time. Let's say between 1.30 and 2. It's going to be a short one today. I just have a few ideas uh, for some bracelets. I woke up in the middle of the night and I had an idea to make some bracelets with quotes. And I actually wrote it down in my notes and it's very um, undecipherable. I could almost not read it this morning because I scratched it on my, there we go, on my iPod. I don't know if you guys can read it, it's upside down. But it says, hi Amber, it says we are strong. I must have had a really weird dream because that's what I wrote out in the middle of the night and I have envisioned it as a bracelet. So we are going to try that. Oh, Amber says hi to Mark. Oops, I don't know, is Mark in the background? I better flip the screen. So let's go ahead and flip the screen. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me just do this now. We're gonna do that, flip the screen over, bring that one around, I'm gonna put it over here so you guys can see what I'm working on. And I am going to come and pull up the video on my um, computer and let's hope that my technology was set up properly this time. Oh yes, it's not upside down. Okay, hi Paula, hi Katsuri, hi Akashata, and hi Ellen. Nice, well, I think we have some new people here. That's awesome. So let me just adjust this so we can see what's in the screen. I might have to pull this one over a little bit. I'm gonna bring this one over a little bit, bring this one in the screen and see if we are centered. And I think I have to maybe pull this one in a bit. Yeah, there we go, perfect. So hi Connie, hi Mirta, everybody's hopping on. So guys, I had this idea to do bracelets with motivational quotes. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm just gonna adjust my chair so I'm a little closer here. And if you guys think of any good quotes, put them in the comments and I can work on them another time. So. This was the one that I thought about. We are strong. I thought it was nice. Could be a wrap around bracelet. Then I thought it'd be really cool to have like a whole quote where you wrap it around your arm, which would be really interesting. And uh, hi, Corey. And then uh, Mimi suggested live, laugh, love. And I thought that would be really cute as a stacked bracelet. So I'm gonna try something like that. And then I, yeah, I thought it would be really cute to have like a memory wire bracelet with a quote, like going like bit -a -bit -a -bit -a up your arm would be really cute. So why don't we start with this one. This is the one that popped into my head and I am going to see what I can do with that. So I'm thinking of maybe using 18 gauge wire. I'm not going to start, I was going to do brass wire, but it's very hard. So let's just start with some softer gold wire. And this is the artistic wire. This is my favorite wire. And I'm also going to keep, um, uh, keep an eye on the comments. Hi, Mary. And Amber loves the idea of a whole quote wrapped around your arm. I, I was thinking, Amber, it was would be like a tattoo without having a tattoo because I don't have tattoos. The only thing I have that resembles a tattoo is this scar on my finger, which looks like an H, ironically. And that's where I cut my finger open when I was cutting open an avocado. So that's the closest I have to a tattoo and that's the closest I'll ever get to a tattoo. So now let's go ahead and these are our pliers, my favorite tweezer nose, flat nose. People ask me where I get these. I got these in Toronto. They actually still sell them at John Bead Company, but they're a wholesaler and you need to buy a minimum of $300. So go for the Zuron. They're more accessible. These are Zuron cutters. And then these are these awesome uh, uh, ones that uh, Amber found from my the old ones that I had in like 30 years ago. So this is a top brand and all of these are in my Amazon affiliate shop. So there we go. Oh, you're off to an appointment, Marilee. Okay, well, thanks for letting us know and definitely come back later. That would be awesome. So let's cut a good long piece of this uh, 18 gauge wire and we'll see how we do. The other thing I wanted to see you, uh, say to you or show you was I'm still working on the feather from uh, Saturday's tutorial and I'm adding beads. Doesn't it look awesome with the little beads? I already showed this to Amber but I haven't showed anyone else yet. So I haven't finished them yet. I'm just opening up the loops and I'm adding um, beads, little seed beads to the feathers. So that's super cute. And, uh, but let's go ahead and do the quote. I'm gonna do probably two bracelets today. I don't have a lot of time because I'm teaching my last watercolor class tonight. So I have to prep for that. 
And then um, I am going to maybe do more of these another time. I'm just going to try one or two just because I had the idea and I thought it would be fun to do it. So I don't know how much wire I need. I'll just cut like super long. I was thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're doing a long coat, you can quote, you can just work off the spool of wire. Like, I don't know how easy that would be. I think it'd be, I think it might be hard to work off the spool. I can try it. It might be a little bit difficult though. So let's just try it. So we want to do We Are Strong. I have to leave enough for a um, loop at the end. So we're going to do that. Connie has a scar from slicing a bagel. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. That's why I spend as little time in the kitchen as possible. So now let's go ahead and um, make this uh, We Are Strong. I'm going to try to work off the spool. If it's too difficult, I'm going to... Um, cut some wires. So if we just uh, go to do like this, I'm not sure even how big to make the letters. I think I'm just going to make them super loose. So let's just make them super loose, pull that a bit and see how it goes. And it would be fun to add beads to this too. Um, I think I'm not going to worry about if it's like really loose, um, this type of thing. I want to, I want to be able to do this in a way that it doesn't look strange. So I'm going to just bring this one down here. Maybe it's not going to look like a W anymore, but I can always fix that after. So we're going to, um, yeah, maybe that wasn't the best type of loop to do with that. I think I'm going to backtrack this a little bit. Um, what I'm thinking to do is maybe do this like a V thing. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to start again for now. Just, I don't want to backtrack it too much. So I'm going to do this and now nice with beads yeah beads would be nice too so i'm going to just start again here i want to make sure my hands are staying in the in the screen here so let's just keep this super simple so if we do like a w and i want to do it in a way that it's very um fluid so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down this way and it might be a capital uh w but that's okay so i'm going to do we it's going to be very stylized you guys can do this in any way you want so we and then when we want to go across here and then we need the A. So for the A, we will get, I actually have a tutorial of letters with beads in them. So I can link that up in the description below. And um, so I'm going off screen now. I really have to pay attention to where my hands have to be. Do I have to be further down here? Here, I'm just going to check what happens to my hands. Yeah, I have to be more over here. Okay, there we go. So let's just do... I need like a little buzzer. So whenever I go, my hands go off the screen that um, the buzzer goes. So I'm going to hold this, bring this one down. You can see it's a little tricky to work off the roll like this, but this way I'm not going to waste any wire. So that's good. So now let's do the R. Okay. The next one will be easier because I'm going to do it in pieces. And the reason I, I want to be careful um, not to cut the wire too long is because I'm working under the so I really don't want to have any issues uh, scratching the iPad. So I'm just going to be careful and try to do it off one spool of wire. And this is a good hack if you don't want to waste wires. Just work off the spool if you can. So now we're going to do the R. There's the R. And then I have all kinds of proper tutorials for the letters, guys, that you can reference and get better design uh, ideas. So... Hi, Anna. Anna, we're making a bracelet with uh, motivational quotes. So this one is, this motivational quote is, we are strong. And um, I have, you can do any kind of quote that you want. So the idea is just to do kind of one continuous line to go around your wrist as a bracelet. And I'm battling with this a little bit because I'm working off the spool. So there's, we are there. And then we're going to go that way and then just, Give that a little bit of a jog to differentiate the E. And then I'm going to go up for the S. So we'll leave a little space, go up for the S, and then I'm going to bend this to the front here and then out. Whoops, slipped a bit. And then this in here, bring that one to the back. And what I should do is draw like a little rectangle on my paper and then I'll know how to stay in the screen. So here's like a, a cursive S and then we're going to go this way and out this way and let's untwist this one a little bit. So there's the S 
And then we're gonna bring up this for the T. Okay, and then my wire is getting a little bit of tension on it because I'm like twisting it all kinds of weird ways. I, so at this point I might even clip it because I'm getting a little bit tangled up there. So see, it's getting a little tangled. I'm just gonna like cut more than I think I need to finish the word. So we'll just cut that and that way I won't have to battle with the spool anymore. So there we go. I don't like having that long end under the camera, but it's okay. We're gonna see what we can do. Uh, Anna says, uh, thank you and love my tutorials. Thank you. Um, hi, Randy, how are you? So if you guys don't know, Sam Maker is Randy and um, he's hopping on the live stream. That's awesome. So there we go. And Randy always comments on my videos and I super appreciate it. And let's just bring this one over here. And if you guys don't already know, I pretty well uh, reply to all comments on when you comment on my videos. So that's fun to see, you know, feedback and what you guys say and your great suggestions and stuff. And I really appreciate it. Even the negative comments are, are useful because it gives me an insight of how to improve uh, my channel and stuff. So I appreciate all comments. So now we're going to bring this one up here and we are going to... Uh, tree sap girl is Amber, if you guys don't already know. Let's not spell this wrong, we are strong. So now we are going to bring this one over. And I think now I cut my wire too long, but that can happen too. And then this way, and then we're gonna bring this one down around. And if you guys have places to go today, I'm not gonna do a long live stream, so you are in luck. So now we're going to bring this one around here. After this live stream, I'm going to paint. And I was thinking I could even live stream the painting. Trouble is on my art channel, I can't live stream yet because I need a thousand subscribers, I think, to be able to live stream on YouTube. So sometimes I'll live stream on my Facebook page and then I will, um, I will uh, uh, download it and put it on my art channel. So I might do that depending on how motivated I'm feeling to live stream my painting because I'm painting flowers uh, as a sample for tonight's uh, class. So maybe I will live stream that. I'm going to see. You can uh, keep your notifications on for my Heather Boyd Wire um, Facebook page and I might possibly do a live stream after this doing some paintings. So trouble with uh, live streaming on uh, Facebook is I think it has to be done in a vertical format which is a bit of a drag because I prefer the horizontal format uh, to be able to put the video on YouTube. So now we're going to bring this one around. Uh, there's someone who does lives and only has a few hundred. Ooh, okay. Let me check. Maybe I can go live on my other channel. I didn't think I could, but that would be awesome because I love doing live streams. It's just really um motivational and inspirational and uh, I would love to do lives on my art channel that would be fun because uh, I've also done them live like on this channel and then I delete I download them and delete them but I don't want to mess up the algorithm on this channel so um, I think I'd rather either do it on Facebook or just record it and upload it to my uh, to my channel so here is we are strong turned out quite well and then to make a bracelet I'm just gonna, this one's way too long now, I knew that. So let me just cut it and then I can deal with that later. So then if you're going to do a bracelet, you want to, uh, you won't read it as we are strong, but you'll know that it, what it says. So we're going to bend it around. If you have a round form, you can bend it around the round form. Um, uh, Artistic Wire makes a oval shaped um, bracelet form. You can use something like that. Uh, or we can just like kind of do it by hand. I have really skinny, skinny wrists, so this doesn't have to be very big for me. But if I want to say, like try it on as a bracelet like that, yeah, you don't read it as a quote, but you know it's a quote, so that's cool. So now what we can do is just bring this one around and I'm going to make a, um, a little, like a hook thing. So usually how I make the hook is I would just bend this longer, like bend it at a longer place than what I think I need, bring this one around, okay? And then I would twist it together here. 
So that would be cool. Nice, cool, cool. Yeah, so there we go. We're gonna bring this one around here. This is 18 gauge wire if you guys are wondering. And we're gonna clip that one, making sure my hands are staying in the screen. Whoop, there goes a little piece. Okay, I wear glasses. So now we're gonna bring that one here. And then to do the hook, you see what I do is I get a little bit of a jog that way. Just a little jog. And then I take this one and I bring it around here. So that makes a little hook, or you can add your own little clasp to it. And then from here, we want to like measure where you want the bracelet and do a loop. So now I'm gonna take this and bend it that way. And then bend this one around this way, whatever size you want, make a loop. And then I hold this with my flat pliers and just bring it around a few times. It's getting stuck in there. Okay, there we go, oopsies. Okay, just bring that one around a few times. I probably should have cut it a little bit shorter, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring that one in there, twist it around as many times as you like. And the channel has 330 subscribers. Ooh, okay, thanks, Amber. I'm gonna check that after, that would be super fun. Yeah, Ellen, could you make words almost, could you make the words almost a pendant and then add a chain to either side. Yes, absolutely. I do have some necklaces uh, tutorials on my channel uh, showing how to attach a chain. Uh, so you could definitely do that. I mean, it'd be fun for a quote too. It might be a little long for a, a quote, but you can definitely do that with words and names and stuff. So let's just make sure this one is at an angle. So, so there's the hook guys, super simple. I'm gonna bring it over here so you guys can see. I have to keep track of where, like this is centered, right? So let me bring my tools over so I won't, how far do I have to bring my tools over there? If I bring them over to there, then I know like how to stay centered on my thing. So there we go. So there's the hook and we just hook in there and there's your bracelet and it says we are strong. So that's super cool. So let me put that one to the side and now next. So now I want to try this one that said they've left stack them up. So what I'm going to do is I can also use the 18 or if I had a stiffer uh, 20 gauge wire, I can do that. So you know what I'm going to do is get my brass 20 gauge wire. I think that's going to be good. So here is 20 gauge tarnished resistant brass. Maybe what I'll do is start by making the work, make the bracelet to go with it. And there we go. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, so Ellen, yeah, that's a great idea. And I can, um, you know what you guys can do? You can always look, I have a playlist of letter and word tutorials. So I do, I have a necklace one there. I could try to link it up in the description too, if I remember. And, but anytime you're looking for anything on my channel, you can just search. There's a search bar and you can search for um, any tutorials that you might've missed or any particular subject that you're looking for. So that's cool. And then I take, take special requests. So if you have something uh, specific that you want me to do, just let me know. Now I, I'm noticing that the screen is buffering. Let me know if you see it buffering on your end. I'm not quite sure what's happening with that, but it might, be an issue on my end, which would be unfortunate because I'm not quite sure what to do about that. We were just talking about live streaming and now it's messing up on my end. So we'll see, it's very, I know you can also change, I think we discussed changing the playback speed. So not playback speed, the playback, the quality, it's already at 720. I'm gonna change it again to be sure. So we should be okay. Um, let me know what you guys see on your end. I'm fine buffering on Amber's side. So I think I'm, I think my thing's all right. I'm not sure. I thought it was your end. So let me know if it improves. Hopefully it's going to improve. That's the issue with these live streams that sometimes they, um, the quality is not the best. So let's try do live, love, laugh. And then I'm going to try to attach them to a bracelet. So here we go. 
So we're going to do uh, live first. I don't want to make them too big either. So we're just going to go live. There's the L, the I. And then this is 20 gauge um, tarnish resistant brass wire from uh, Artistic Wire, which is the Beetle on. I mean, yeah, the Beetle, it's on the Beetle on website if you're looking for it. So let me just remember how I did the V before. My connection is very fast. Okay, Randy knows a lot about the tech aspect of these things. So it looks better to me now. Let me know on your end how it looks. So here's the live here. And, uh, oh, and then up here and down. Actually, this should go to the front. Okay, uh, like this way. Let's see, this one's a little tricky to do that from the E, the V to the E is definitely a little bit tricky. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so good, good there. Okay, Randy, good to know. Thank you. So here is the live right there. Okay, so there's live. This part's a little wonky, but that's okay. So live, and now we're going to do... And if this is, you don't want this too high either because you want it to be somewhat even. So there's uh, live. And now we'll do love. No, live, laugh, love. Okay, so now we'll do laugh. Okay, uh, my connection is like me slow. Yeah, that can happen. I don't know why I would be having problems here. Like there's no storm or anything. It's a beautiful day. We did have a storm the other night and the power went off in our nearby uh, town, not in our area. We're all, I'm on the island of Montreal, but we're all like different, um, I guess you would call them like little suburbs or something. And um, we never have much trouble with our electricity, but in Point Claire, it goes out often. I don't know why they're on a different grid. So um, my daughter was out at her photography club and luckily the club had a generator, but all the houses in the area were um, black, like no power. So there we go. So now we are going to you, and let's not spell it wrong. So there's the you. And I know the connection here isn't like super clear, but you will definitely find clear tutorials for these letters uh, in the playlist, wire letters and uh, words. So there we go. There's a G up and down. And then we're gonna bring this one around here. And then just the H and that'll be that for that. Laugh. Luckily, I have enough wire. That's good. Let me know in the comments what you're working on wire-wise and uh, what kind of projects you're working on these days. Amber, I saw you posted the your wire components in the Wire Makers Club. That's awesome. They look great. Really nice. And so now let's go ahead and do the rest of the H and out that way. So there's laugh so we have live and we have laugh is it live laugh love or is it live love laugh i think it's live laugh love that's what mimi said but you guys let me know if, it, if i'm wrong love wire writing wire writing is so much fun yeah definitely so now we're gonna do love and if it's not quite exactly the same size it's not really a big deal and I still want to do the others. Yes, the goddess is fun too. So it's live, laugh, love. Awesome. Thanks, Amber. That's great. So now we're going to do the O. I'm going to do the O. I have a tutorial for a greeting card with the word love on it, which is um, super cute. And you can get sort of like an idea of how to do the love on that tutorial because you kind of go from the O to the V and then from the V you want to go down and then up 
for the E. So we're going to do the E and then the, let's do the E up to the front. So there we go. There we go. Fun. It's nice when the letters are loose too. Sometimes I have trouble getting them like really loose. I tend to, my wire work tends to be a little bit on the stiff side very graphic because I'm trained as a graphic artist so a lot of my work is more like very graphic-y. So there's love. Ooh, the love turned out well. Nice. So here we have live, laugh, love. Now the challenge is we want to put it on a bracelet and I want to stack them like that. So we want to, that's the plan. We're going to stack those words. I'm going to grab a sip of water. Randy says, I have a practical project of working on a headlight bulb clip of memory wire. I went, it went missing. Oh, that's cool for your 22 year old car. Nice. That's awesome. My car is not that old, but although it's with 2011. So my car is 11 years old. I have a, a Yaris and I love the Yaris. We had a matrix before and I found it way too big because I'm teeny tiny. So the Yaris is just my size, which is great. So now we're going to cut a couple pieces, pieces of the 18 gauge wire. There we go. And now I've been working on different components to Amber. Nice, Corey. Okay, cool. So now we're going to get a couple of pieces of wire. I'm not 100% sure the size yet. So I'll just cut a couple of, whoops, those aren't cutters. I'll cut a couple of pieces. And then if ever I have scraps left over, sometimes I just use them to make something else. So I'll cut a couple pieces of the 18 gauge. And then the idea is to do some loops to attach these. So let's just take this, let me move those out of the way and I'm gonna do some loops. So we're gonna start with this one, this away. I'm just thinking out loud which way I want to do it. These actually loops don't have to be that big because Connie's making a cross and tomb pendants related to Easter. Very cool. Very nice. I love that. So there we go. So now we're going to bring this one around here. I'm just thinking in terms of how far apart they have to be. So say that was, I think rather than do them that way, I'm going to do them that way. And then like this one, maybe if I line them up, I'll be able to tell where these loops should be. So if we do this one here, and then this one maybe about here, I could always adjust, adjust them after. Let's see, there's that one. And then this might be a little... A little close together but I can almost like unroll it and bring it back down and this one it should be about the same I guess about the same length apart so if we do this one to here it should be about the same and if we do this so if we have that and then I imagine these should be about in the same position so let's take the other one Okay, now, yeah, I love it when you guys post your stuff in the Wires Make Club because then we can see what everybody is working on and uh, lots of amazing ideas in that group. It's so much fun. Actually, there's a lot of wire weavers. I don't do wire weaving. I find, find it very um, time consuming and not that gratifying. So I don't do wire weaving, but a lot of people are obsessed with wire weaving. So that's cool to see what they create. There we go. So now this one here, um, that one like that, perfect. And then we're going to see how we're, how in the world are we going to get this to work? That's the next question, is how are we going to get this to actually hold together? So let's start with live. There we go. Uh, Yes, yes. Connie posted some lovely things in the Wire Makers Club already. There was one on um on a stone, right, Connie, with the cross, I, I believe. I think that's maybe the one you're talking about. So now we're going to get these in there. Keep in mind the laugh is going to be the biggest word, the longest word. So the laugh is going to have to go like there. So why don't we start with laugh? 
Okay, and then we're going to have to twist it around. So if we hold this here, and this is a real rough prototype, so you guys, you know, do your thing with it. So we're going to go around here and here. Did anyone ever see the movie Mean Girls? My uh, daughter and I replicate that um, line in Mean Girls all the time time where they where she says something about it's not my thing or something and then the girl says did you just say did you just say thing <laughs> anyways we laugh about that it's funny it's a silly movie so there we go um i digress so let's go here and put this one in the middle the middle one here there and so that'll be like about there and we're going to wind this one around here there we go, and wind it a couple of times. One, two, and then after this, I'm gonna go see if I can go live on my art channel. I'm excited. I hope I can figure that out. And if not, I am gonna investigate why I won't be able to do that if somebody else can do it with 300 subscribers. So there we go. So there's that one. And we're gonna just, so there's, it's really wonky, but maybe we can do something about this. So there's laugh, and then we need the live at the top. And I was just talking about that movie with the client about that. Amber and I are on the same wavelength uh, every single day. We always have things happen at the exact like same time. So Amber, I am not surprised in it. That is so funny. It's such an iconic film. Oh my goodness. There we go. So we're gonna put this one in here. And uh, Tina Fey too, she's like amazing. So now we're going to put those ones there and then this one will be in here. So let's put the long one in first. And then this one here, get the one in there. Perfect. So we have our words this is going to be a little bit insane trying to get this to be not wonky but we're going to see what we can do peggy yay eerie <laughs> it's not eerie it's normal oh it's so funny okay so now we are going to it used to be the same with me and my friend allison like anytime i needed anything she had it anytime she needed anything i had it and uh, yeah, just sometimes, uh, sometimes these things happen. It's the universe, the magic of the universe. So now we are going to bring this one through here and around here. And let's do one more time to make it solid. I mean, if you have a lot of wire, you can wind it right down as well. So we're just going to bring one in here. So I'm just going to do three twists. And then we're going to clip this, get in there. And hi, Flavia. There we go. So if I ever miss any of your comments or if you hop on and I haven't noticed, just let me know. Sometimes I get a little carried away just working on the project, but um, I really appreciate you guys saying hello when you hop on. It's really nice and um, great to see regulars coming on every week and new people coming on, which is fun. So we're going to bring this one around. And I am planning to do another Let's Get Wired soon. Um, I have a big project I'm working on right now that I want to finish up. It's a video, a fun video for the channel. Uh, but I, it's actually a collaboration. I've um, hired a friend to help with the music and another friend to help with the editing. So that's coming up really soon. Um, it's just like a big project. When you When you're coordinating with other people, it takes a bit longer to do. Uh, but this one, you're going to like it. It's a fun one. So here we go. These are fun. Look at these guys. These are beautiful. So now we're going to wind up the wire. Let's wind this one up that way because this will be the bottom. And so now we're going to take this here and make sure it stays even, centered. And we're going to wrap that one in here. So we're going to take this one. We're buffering a little bit more. Uh, having this beautiful bracelet. Thank you. It could be a TV series. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so there we go. Um, I did a little TV series, pseudo TV series, Randy, before you um, came into the community. It was Live Wires for the Win, and it was an elimination series where people um, were creating wire art based on a theme every week, and then each week uh, one of the uh, participants would be eliminated, so we would have a final like, um, winner of the whole and we're going to be doing this too. 
probably the fall. So if you guys are interested in participating in Library to Win, that's coming up in the fall. Uh, Peggy participated and was in the in the finals um, last year, and that was uh, that was really fun. And your work was amazing, Peggy. It really, really. Uh, Really, really enjoyed having you on the show. That was so much fun. And so, yeah, if you, any of you want to participate in Live Wires for the Win, I'll putting it. I'll be putting out a call for uh, entry uh, probably towards the middle uh, of the summer. So look out for that. Uh, my friend Patricia was one of the judges. She's uh, actually out of town, but that doesn't make a difference uh, right now because we'll, we're doing we do the judges by Zoom anyway. So I had some really great guest judges, and um, looking forward to more. Uh, this year so it's just a really fun fun experience and then the prize uh, was donated by beetle on last year uh, tim won 500 dollars worth of uh, beetle on products which was really cool so there we go so here we have these three they're lined up pretty well not too bad with this uh stormy there oh cutting out it's there's something on my end too peggy i don't know why the, um the internet's not great. I really don't know why. So, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's very fun, Randy. So here's our starting point of our bracelet. So now to do the actual bracelet part, I think what I want to do is just bend the wires out. Let me just take my round pliers. I, mm, let me just, sorry, I'm just thinking I could go across so these don't get bent out of shape maybe I'm a little worried about these getting bent out of shape I could I could leave it like that I'm a little bit worried or if I brought this one across or maybe a straight wire across just let me think out loud guys I'm going to take if I took this one across like that then they would be more in a square thing but I also kind of like it without so you can do either. I'm going to try it without going straight across just because I kind of like the idea. So why don't I just, rather than make a straight like bend, I'm going to just bend it out like this. Okay, just I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I'm really worried about these coming apart. So just be careful as a bracelet that, you know, keep in mind it could, it could happen. So if we bring that one out like that, and then this one out, this is a nice soft wire. So we're gonna bring that one out like that. So this is interesting, very interesting. So now we're gonna go like this and my psychic powers are interfering with the broadcast. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I've had very strange experiences in the past that I possibly would have got burned at the stake a hundred or two hundred years ago, but um, it's all good. It's to me their natural phenomena. There we go. So perfect. And now we have to bring this one around for the bracelet. So what we can do is I'm going to get a round form to bend that. And let's see what we can find. I have my trusty pill bottles. I call these my um, babushka dolls. So there's my little babushka doll pot. So we have a big circle and then we have little circles that I'm gonna use for, I'll use this one for the bracelet. So, Margaret, hi Margaret. Limerick, Ireland, how cool is that? Very nice. So now um, let's bring this one around. My ancestors are from Scotland some of them i my mom's side are from england and uh, but um my dad's side is from scotland which is why i'm called heather probably and now we're going to take this one and bring it around um i've never been i would love to go i would love to go over to scotland ireland england again i've been to england so we're going to bring that one around so that's kind of some funky stuff in there it looks a little bare right now but that's okay I just want to see how big to make it so maybe about to here so I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna hold this and I'm gonna make our hook now so if we take this like we did before bring this one around and flip it okay 
Oh, you had a trip to Scotland. How wonderful. That's amazing. My grandfather was born in a house in Scotland that is now an Airbnb. And my parents stayed there when they went to Scotland. That was like 20 years ago. Though, so I don't know if it's still an Airbnb. But um, yeah, I would love to go too. So now let's just bend this back for the hook as we did before. Bring that one back. And then I'm going to bring this one around and I'm actually going to bend it, catch that over there. I'm going to come over here and, oh, I probably should have gone the other way around, but I just want to catch that so it doesn't slip because the trouble is if you don't catch that little end, it's going to slip back and forth. So that's a good little hack. And Mirta says, Grandma Argentinian, nice. Very nice. I'm not a grandma yet. I don't know if I'll ever be a grandma, but that's okay. I have lots of, uh, I, I get a lot of pleasure out of teaching um, uh, students, like all ages, adults, kids, all that. So uh, I'm not sure I'd have time to be a grandma. So there we go. We're gonna bring that one up here and up here. My sister's a grandma, so I have great uh, nieces, which is super fun. So oh, let me just, Pinch this one here. There we go. Whoop. There we go. And then we're gonna make our little hook. I, I cut this one maybe a little bit short, but you can also make a loop, which might be better, and just add a clasp. So I did a little hook there, but I might you might be better just to add a clasp. In fact, I think I've made this a little bit on the short side. So I can, yeah, I can definitely add a clasp to that. I think I maybe made it a little bit short. So now I'm going to make a loop on this side here. Bring that one around and give that. And I could add a jump ring. You know, it's not really a big deal. And these are just samples. So they just give you an idea of what you can do with the wire. I love the idea of doing this quote bracelet. I think it's a super fun idea. I guess you can make a really tiny one as a ring. It might not work so well, but you never know experiment and or wall art with quotes I've done some wall art with quotes with just like 16 gauge aluminum wire you can definitely do that so now I'm just made the hook and you see I, I hooked it over that there so it would hold in place so um and two hello tango dancing lady hmm cool. so now we're going to clip this one and now I'm going to bend that one. I have a feeling it's too small now, but we're going to see. So there's that. Maybe not. You don't want it too big either. I've got really tiny wrists. So say we go in there. It's not bad. Look at that, guys. It kind of, it's kind of cool. Let me see if I could get it on my wrist, though. And it's got a cool spring to it. These are a little, a little bit wonky. I think they're, just be careful that they don't pull apart. But these, I like the way it looks. It's super funky. So then if you're gonna put it on, look, it's got a cool spring to it. I like that. So now we're gonna get this one in here, put it in there and not bad. I mean, the color isn't great. It doesn't show up on my skin, but um, you could do any color, live, laugh, love. And then you can fill these in with beads if you like. An old bracelet of my mom had. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Amazing. Oh, does she still have it? So there's the Live, Love, Laugh bracelet. And um, yeah, you could definitely add some beads or something in there. That would be super cool. Or little swirls or something. Like we can just get maybe our scraps of wire. Let me just find some of the scraps here. And we can do some little, little things with that. Um, same color or different color even. They don't have to be the same. You can do silver, you can do any color. I'm gonna just cut that. I know I know Amber likes brass, so I'll just stick with the brass theme here. And there we go. So here's brass. So if you do want to do some little spirals and stuff, you can maybe just take this and I'm just gonna play around with it. So here's my handy dandy spiral maker that I love. We're gonna bring this one around here, start the spiral, and then swirls. Yes, Mandy says super. Thank you. So we're going to bring this one around here, push that one in. We've got, this is my favorite way to make spirals, if you guys don't already know. And we're just going to bring that one in a little bit.
bit more. Am I still on screen? I think so. So we're going to go like that here. And then this one can go that way. This actually reminds me of a bracelet that I made when I was selling on the street. Um, I think I showed you guys some of those ones before too. And it was, this was before, before I met Mark, who was doing the wire, I started working with electrical wire and I was making bracelets that were like free form with little spirals and stuff. So, and then I swear like two weeks after I started playing with wire, I met Mark, who is a wire artist and he was making wire bicycles on the street. So talk about the universe and fate. Um, that was definitely meant to be because, um, because now uh, we're, we're still together like 33 years later and still making wire together, which is really cool. So now let's just kind of fill this in a little bit. I like this idea. So let's just do this. And there we go. Uh, Connie got her cones. Yay. Awesome. Perfect. Hi, Julie. There we go. So we're going to bring this one in here. I'll just maybe do one side just to show you guys and I can always do the other side later, but this is the idea. So just, you can just take some wire and just play around with it. You can add some beads if you want. You can just like keep it in here like that. I can add some beads. Let me just bring this one in here. So say you're going to add some beads. I have my favorite beads here. This is all my like miracle beads, cat's eye beads. I have some little pearls. These are my faceted beads. I have all kinds of cool beads. So say we want to do like, maybe we can just do some funky like hematite beads or something. Let me get some hematite. I have different sizes. Do you have any big hematite? I don't know if the big is, big maybe a little chunky, not too bad. There's some different sizes. So let me move these out of the way and Oh, they're going to roll everywhere. So let me put these on my tray. Uh, so say we want to do a hematite one. We can just get this. And Julie says, do you have Instagram or social media? Yeah, I have way too much Instagram. I have Heather Boyd Wire, where I share my um, work that we sell on Etsy. I have Heather Boyd Blog, which is just a kind of a personal account where I just share, like when I go to art events. And actually, I share my, my teaching, my art teachings and stuff on there too. And then I have Heather Boyd Comics, which is um, sort of my alter ego, where I, I um, write very quirky um, comics. So uh, they're like four panel comics type of thing. So, but probably the best would be following on Heather Boyd Wire. And some of those the DIY stuff in my story, but most of it's fun. So now we're just going to keep going with these. I might run out of wire here, but we're going to see. I'm going to bring this one in and then maybe I'll just add other, I can add more wire after I'm going to add a little bead. So this one's a little bit smaller. Uh, Tish, did Tish pop on? Yay. Hi Tish. We're just finishing up, but I'm really happy you hopped on. So now we're going to bring this one here and just filling in this side of the bracelet with some, and this bracelet design has all kinds of possibilities. I love it that it's like a spring. You can put anything you want in between. You don't have to put the quotes. You can put anything at all that you want. I'm running out of wire, so I'm just gonna like pop that end in a little bit there. And what I'll do is I'll just do one side and then I'll finish the side, other side probably after the live stream. Although I could, I could finish it now. It's not really a big deal. So let's get another little bee here. Let me just push this one out and stick that one on here. I might have to straighten the wire. Oh, it went right down. Okay, I thought I'd have to straighten the wire, but I, it's not too bad. So now I'm going to just swirl this one around here. Okay, it's fun when you just swirl the bead around. And then I'm going to go to the side again here. Let's see what I could do just to use up this wire. That would be good. And then we're going to bring this one in here. I like this with the, the hematite with the brass is so beautiful. And let's do another like couple. This, this is another way to make spirals. Just when the, your wire is soft, you can definitely just do like kind of freeform ones. So we're just going to hold that there, bring that one around like that type of thing, funky. And then bring that one around here. Yeah, this is more like the ones that I used to make uh, before I knew anything about making wire. <laughs> I used to do like super abstract stuff like this. So now we're going to bring this one up. Uh, looking beautiful. Thank you. About the letters being stretched, you could add wire from the 
left to the right with the beads. Hmm, smart. Um, Randy, I like the way you're thinking. That's awesome. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, I think that's a great idea because I am a wee bit worried about that. So maybe we can try that. I'll finish this. That one's a little big. I think this one, this one here is more like a, I think it's like a five millimeter because these, this, these are four. This must be five, that's six. So we're going to bring that. I like that idea, Randy. Maybe if I have time, I can try that. I'm just going to use up this wire and then I can just attach it here. So you can either attach it to one side or you can go over like all three like that if you want. I'm sure, I like that. No, I think I'm just going to go in one of these rather than going through, whoops, rather than holding them both together. I think I'm just going to like go through one. I like that nice curve that's going to, through there. So we're going to do that. Take this, bring this one in, and then we'll get a little bit of a there. Another day. Well, or today. So we're going to see how much time we have. So now, uh, that's super cute. Yeah, that's really cute. So let's see how it would work. Uh, like Andy said, with the, with the wire across the top. So I'm just going to cut some more of the brass. Um, I don't think I need, well, I could do quite a bit. Actually, if I cut a big piece, let me see what I can do with this. So I'm going to just cut a big piece because I can always use the rest later. I can cut a little piece off. Clarice is here. Yay. Hi, Clarice. I was a little late too, Clarice. We're going to start from now on at 1.30 and then, but I'm going to say ish because it'll be anywhere between 1.30 and 2 depending on my timing and Amber, I know you have to leave at some point, so don't worry if you have to hop off. Yeah, so say we were gonna put a bead across or wire, you can, yeah, with a separate wire, you can just, that looks pretty good, like just pull that across here. I'll show you what it would look like if we did add beads. And just get a bunch of these beads just to show you. And then you guys let me know if you prefer like beads or no beads. So we're just gonna put a bunch of these like four millimeter ones. You could also put uh, seed beads if you want, uh, whatever whatever you like. Um, really curious to see what you guys come up with. And I'm just gonna put a bunch of these beads and we'll see, you guys can vote whether you like it with, with a beads or just with wire or with just no wire, like just the words across. So which would be a little more fragile, but not too bad. Not, you know, if um, if you're careful, it's okay. It's pretty good with the, it's pretty good with the um, brass wire too. It's pretty strong. So yeah, everybody's got such great ideas. That's why I love these live streams because we are just like a team here. So now, okay, vote on Nothing like this plane. Plane. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, I'm buffering again. Not sure what's going on with that. Plane. Beads. Or. Let me straighten the wire a bit. Hang on. Or. Oop, let me get this in there. Or wire. So say we do just wire straight across. Can you guys see this? Let me bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna hold this. So, see if we can see it, yep. And I'm going to bring it over here. Am I going further away or closer together? There, so there's the wire. There's the beads. I'm just looking at the screen to see, because there's a delay here. There's the beads or there's nothing. So you guys let me know which one you like. And Randy says seed beads. Seed beads, Randy. So you want me to try seed beads? <laughs> You're gonna make it even more difficult. Um, okay, these are uh, four millimeter beads. Let's see how it might look with seed beads. You're all my friends. Um, let me just put, I uh, love it already. Thank you. Tish like a fire. Yes, yes. So let me, um, these are seeds. 
I do have, oh, I have hematite seed beads. Wait a minute. I think I have hematite seed beads, which would match better. Yeah, these are like, these aren't the right color. These are like purple seed beads. So let's not do purple seed beads. And beads on the sides. I like nothing as well. Brass might be strong enough. It might be strong enough. Yeah. Let's just put a few little seed beads here. If I can find enough of the hematite ones, because I don't have, I have a mix. So I have a mix that includes hematite, but I don't have a bunch of hematite right now. That one's got, is plugged. So I'm just going to put a few of the hematite and then see what, I can even put a, like a pole or something, but I kind of want to get it done sooner than later. I won't do it on the live, but I'll finish it after the live and you guys tell me. So these are seed beads. These ones are like a little smaller than the four millimeter ones. So I like nothing as well. Brass might, yeah, okay, perfect. So let me just compare the seed beads with the round beads and then we can see the round beads are just a little bigger, but they're also maybe match better with the beads at the sides. So we might better go with with the um, the round beads. Can't get a hold of these ones. So let's try a few of the round ones before they roll on the floor. And then I'm gonna check which look better. So we have, these are seed beads and these are the round beads. So, okay, round, let me come up here. Let's see if you guys can see. Uh, I'm wondering, am I, I think, am I too far away here? Where am I? I'm gonna move my hand a little bit. I have to try to center over here maybe. Am I going off the screen? I'm going off the screen. So let's try here. So these are CB, or these are the round beads. Oh boy, I'm like really going off the screen. Is this better? Um, I'm having trouble. There, this is better. So here's the round beads. These are the seed beads on that side. Those are the seed beads. And then there's no beads. And then there's wire. Let me just see the wire. And then there's wire. I find wire a little straight. I don't know. I'm confused. So you guys can let me know. Hi, Kiki. They just they just seem kind of big, those beads. That's what I thought. Yeah. So guys, I'm going to stop here. I will finish it up after the live stream. Uh, let me know which design you like. I have Live, Laugh, Love, uh, love or I have like just a whole quote, We Are Strong, around a bracelet. So let me know which is your favorite. I will finish it after the live and I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye. So let me just come around to the other side of my table and I just have to do this. There we go. Perfect. And oh, this one. Here we go. Yay. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for helping on the live stream. I really appreciate it. I'm just gonna bring this over so I can see your comments. There we go. So, stack concept is cool. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Amber, I really appreciate that. So guys, I'm gonna go do some painting now. I don't know if I'll be live or not, but um, I'm gonna paint anyways. And uh, we will see you Saturday for the next video. And another Let's Get Wired in the next few weeks. So look out for that. And everybody have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much to Amber and Therese for moderating the chat. I don't think Mustafa hopped in today, but usually he's helping out as well. So he couldn't make it today. It's a little late for him, maybe. maybe. And yeah, so guys, I'll wish you all the best. Um, I'll see you on the next live. Comment below the video if you're watching the replay. Let me know what you think of the designs, if you have any suggestions for how to improve them. And I will see you guys on Saturday on the premiere at 11 a.m. Eastern time uh, for my regular video. So have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye.